Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll quickly explain how to add a desktop icon on your Windows computer for Outlook. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Outlook inbox. If you use Outlook as much as I do, it can be really convenient to add an icon on your Windows desktop to quickly open Outlook without having to open your internet browser first. Let's quickly do this now. Whilst logged into your Outlook account, you can add an icon by moving your mouse to the top right of your Chrome internet browser. You'll see a three dots icon next to your Google profile picture. This icon indicates that there are further options available behind this link. I'll click on it now to show those options. If I move my mouse down the list, you'll see there's a link called More Tools. Clicking on that shows some further options, but the one we're interested in is called Create Shortcut. I'll move my mouse to that and click on it once. A shortcut creation window then pops up. The name of the shortcut is highlighted, but you can add your own description for this icon. You can also choose to open your Outlook app as a separate window by clicking on the checkbox option in the pop-up. If you leave this checkbox blank, Outlook will open in your default internet browser. To confirm your choices, click on the large blue create button. If I return to my desktop, you'll also see that a desktop icon for Outlook has been added to the desktop. And if I double click on that, the Outlook app opens in a new window. With Outlook already open, I can quickly pin this app to the bottom bar in Windows. To do that, I'll move my mouse to the Outlook icon currently shown in the taskbar. And if I right click on that, you'll see there are a few options shown. I'm going to select the pin to taskbar option. And now if I close my Outlook app, you'll see that the icon is still shown in the taskbar and Outlook can be quickly opened just by clicking on it once. I hope you find this Woggle Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching.